Hey, it's Kevin here from Loveless Custom Guitars. I got some mail come in today, stuff I've been waiting on. And uh, I got one of my pickups in. I'll open that in a minute. Um, hope none of this is my wife's stuff. <laughs> what are you doing, my stuff? Ooh, got my wooden knobs in for my my guitar build. I got this uh, hot rail humbucker here in the mail and it's going to be my front pickup but by doing so I'm going to have to modify the pick guard I made. I got uh, the neck pocket routered out as you can see here now I've had this neck for a while that uh, I used on another build that I decided to stop with and uh, I'm going to use this neck for this build. Now when you router it out of the neck pocket and you go to insert your neck, you want your neck to have some resistance because when I, here let me bring it down. Because when I put on this neck, okay, you want it to be able to have some, well, you got to push it in to a point. Because when you, when you go to build a guitar, just by pushing in the neck, you want to be able to have it hold like this. You don't want no slop in there, no looseness. So whenever you build, you want to be spot on. Take your time. Don't get in a hurry. If you get in a hurry, you're going to make a mistake. It's real easy to. And uh, you know, you have a lot that you're thinking about. You're going to router. You want to make sure that everything is, all your measuring, everything is spot on check it three or four times just to make sure because once you router it it's routed. so once you got your neck set in your body now you're gonna know exactly how your bridge is gonna go on your body you want to set your neck first then your bridge